Today we are going to make these wonderful winter mugs. These mugs are full of hot cocoa and we're going to decorate them. To decorate them, first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw different kinds of lines going across your mug. So I did a bump line, a zigzag line, and a curly line. Then you're going to fill in a shape pattern. So I put in my triangles with enough space for another shape, which are going to be circles. And I color them in neatly and completely. You can do whatever shape pattern you want to do, but you do need to color in them very neatly and very completely. Because we're going to be using a special kind of paint that uh, will allow your shapes to show up even if they're painted on top of, but you do have to color them in really good, really well. So I'm just gonna to continue to color in my entire mug, including the handle, and filling each space in with a shape pattern. We are not going to color in with crown the background. I'll show you how we're gonna do that here in just a second. Alright, now that that's done, it is time to paint. We're going to use these liquid watercolors, and I've actually taken these liquid watercolors out of old markers. I've soaked the old markers in water, and now we're going to use these liquid watercolors, and you're just going to very carefully paint, and you can paint right over the shapes, because we're going to take our towel and we're going to blot it. And to change colors, you don't use water, you just squeeze out all the watercolor. So with liquid watercolors, you don't use more water. You just squeeze out all of the watercolor paint. So see how I paint right over those shapes? I'm gonna paint right over those shapes and very carefully paint inside my lines. And again, blot it. And if you want it to be a richer, darker color, what you can do is just carefully paint around. Now, you want to be careful when you pick out your paints that you don't use the same uh, color as uh, what you used for the crayons. You want to make sure that you use a color that you did not use for your shapes. And now I'll show you how um, I'm going to paint in the rest of this, and then I'll show you how we'll add the marshmallows. Now we can add the marshmallows, and you're going to take a white crown, and you're just going to add some little squares or rectangles, um, and you won't be able to see it until you take the brown paint, and you can already start to see, there it is. And then I'm going to pay, carefully paint around my marshmallows so that I've got a nice dark color, and just blot right on top of them. Once you're done with the mug, you can move on to the window. Now you will Use your white crown and you won't really be able to see what you're drawing, but you can draw in wind or stars or snowflakes, whatever you'd like. Then color in your the wood of the window pane and we'll just color that all in brown. Just coloring around the whole thing, unless you want your window uh, pane to be different. All right, then if you'd like to color in some um, evergreen trees, that's fine. Just make sure that you don't color it on top of um, your window there. So you'll have to skip over the brown of the window like I just did there. Remember things that are further away look smaller. And then I'm just gonna put in my tree trunk there. And then it's time to paint the sky. You can paint the sky in blue or purple. If you want it to be at night, it would be purple. I'm gonna have it during the day. And you draw in your horizon line and you leave the bottom part of your horizon line white for the snow. Then get a towel and blot it and see how that wind and those snowflakes show up. I'm painting very carefully, leaving that white paper for the snow. All right, now because I've been blotting the whole time, I'm ready to start cutting things out and putting them on my wall. 
And as you can see, I'm carefully cutting things out. And with the handle there, if you just do a little split cut right there and then cut out the white, leaving the handle attached, that's best. And then carefully cut out the window. And be sure you throw all the scraps in the trash. Don't just dump them on the floor. Then you're gonna pick out a piece of fabric and you're gonna put the window on the wall and the fabric down at the bottom of the paper so that it looks like it's a table. Then put the glue the mug onto the table that has a tablecloth and two little fabric curtains onto the window and there you have a lovely winter scene.